So in this video then I'm going to use the uh, frequency counter and power meter that uh, I got quite recently. I've done a couple of videos on this and I'll link them down below but I'm going to actually use it today to uh, test some different coaxes that I've got off eBay. Now what I've got here is a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, signal source that is exactly 600 milliwatts. So what that actually means is we know that we're pumping in exactly 600 milliwatts at uh, the uh, one end of the coax. We'll connect the other end of the coax up to the meter and then we can see how much power uh, is actually delivered at the end of the coax compared to what we actually put in there and that'll give us a good idea how uh, well the actual coax performs and how lossy it actually is at these uh, microwave uh, frequencies. So these are the coaxes that we're going to be testing then and we'll take a closer look at these in a moment but I just wanted to tell you about this one here. Now this coax here is one that uh, I purchased last year off eBay and uh, I think uh, I purchased three meters of this and it was sold as a genuine LMR coax and it had the pictures there and uh, everything of the uh, you know the uh, original uh, genuine thing there but uh, this when it arrived you can probably make out that somebody's attacked the uh, outer uh, sleeving of this with some sandpaper and that's probably in an effort to remove all the uh, uh, numbering and wording that's on the side here because this is uh, not LMR coax I'm not actually sure what it is it's probably even uh, TV cable coax I don't know but uh, I uh, purchased this and uh, he actually sold quite a lot of uh, this coax in one go and this guy had uh, quite a lot of feedback and he'd been a member for at least a couple of years but uh, I uh, purchased this and when I actually got it uh, quite overnight really he started getting a uh, lot of negative feedback and I uh, emailed him and uh, said I wasn't happy and he told me to actually post it back to uh, China which uh, if any of you know then uh, you know posting something like this back to China is uh, it costs a lot of money and most of the time it's not worth actually doing that but uh, after say about a week he did actually get banned he had his uh, account removed from eBay and uh, eBay automatically refunded me for uh, the uh, cost of uh, this coax which uh, wasn't really expensive you know I thought it was going to be a bargain for uh, genuine LMR coax but um, no it's uh, totally fake and you can definitely see that uh, they've got sandpaper on the sides to remove uh, you know probably uh, what this uh, coax actually is. And also as well just for uh, fun and because uh, so many people ask me in the comments uh, here on YouTube can I uh, use uh, you know uh, coaxial cable that uh, normally you get connected to the uh, TV aerial. So uh, I've got uh, a two metre length here that uh, I uh, recently picked up for a pound from the pound shop and uh, this is uh, typically uh, TV aerial uh, coax so I'll put a couple of SMA connectors on this as well so we'll give this a test just to actually show you know uh, how well the meter works as well and how well this test actually works and also you know it should uh, serve as uh, an example of why you should not actually use this at microwave frequencies. So before we actually uh, test each of these different coaxes I thought it'd be a good idea to have a look how each one is actually uh, connected here. So we have the uh, RG316 here which is quite a thin coax but the outer braid is a really tight weave there and uh, you've got the dielectric uh, separator here for the uh, inner core and there's no foil around that at all and then you've got uh, several strands making up that inner core and quite a thick uh, wire as well it doesn't bend quite so easy it's quite uh, a rigid wire and here we have the uh, semi-rigid coax the RG402 and again it's got this uh, outer braid and even though it's uh, semi-rigid so you've got uh, solder flooded in there you can actually make out the uh, weave of the uh, braid itself and again it's quite tight 
and we've got the uh, solid inner core here so that's just one solid strand but quite thick wire and again quite rigid as well so here I've got uh, some new coax that I haven't used before and I've got it off a uh, seller here in the UK and uh, it's actually uh, supposed to be an LMR equivalent so it's a low loss 50 ohm coax and again you can see quite a tight weave to that outer braid there there's no aluminium foil uh, separating the uh, dielectric insulator here for the uh, inner core and again some quite thin wire several uh, strands of it making up the uh, inner core of the coax so this is the uh, counterfeit uh, LMR coax that was sold to me uh, on eBay uh, some time ago now and uh, you can see here the outer braid there's actually no weave to that uh, outer braid at all we have this uh, aluminium foil between the uh, outer braid and the center dielectric there and the inner core is just one single uh, piece of wire really really thin and flimsy so we've got the RG316 hooked up and we've got the uh, 600 milliwatts going in and uh, going down the line and coming out the other end we're actually getting 549 milliwatts so we're losing 51 milliwatts but uh, that's not too bad really when you actually consider how thin this uh, coax is and uh, the excessive length of the pigtail of course like I said I wouldn't uh, normally use such a uh, long piece of coax for a pigtail as this so it's actually a uh, pretty good coax I'm actually impressed with that so next up then we've got this uh, low loss uh, coax that I've got off a uh, seller here in the UK and uh, it's supposed to be an equivalent coax to LMR 195 now uh, as you can see there we're pumping the uh, 600 milliwatt signal into it and we're only getting 524 milliwatts coming out the other end so it's not performing as well as the uh, previous RG uh, 316 coax did so I'm a little bit disappointed in this I was uh, actually going to get some more of this to make up some new test leads some uh, pigtails for my uh, network analyzer but uh, I certainly won't be using this coax it's not as good as uh, the uh, LMR uh, line of coaxes and it's certainly not as good as uh, the uh, RG316 coax so next up then we've got the semi-rigid coax the RG402 and this is actually from uh, Hobby King on eBay and uh, I'm pretty impressed uh, with this uh, it's the uh, best uh, low loss coax that we've tested so far it's actually fluctuating at uh, around uh, 588 milliwatts there so we're only losing 12 milliwatts down the line so I'll definitely be uh, making some test leads for my uh, analyzer with this uh, semi-rigid coax I didn't expect it to be quite so good as that especially for the price you know it's uh, it's not uh, over expensive like uh, you know normal uh, low loss coaxes are and uh, so far you know 12 milliwatts um, down uh, two meter uh, long pigtail that's uh, pretty good going and here we are with the uh, counterfeit uh, coax cable then that I got off eBay and uh, as you can see there two meter length of it and we're losing over 150 milliwatts down the line so extremely poor stuff this and finally because uh, people do actually ask me quite a lot is uh, why can't I use uh, the cheap coax for uh, a television aerial for instance and uh, this is the reason why we're only using a two meter pigtail here but uh, this uh, 600 milliwatts being pumped into it and we're only getting 85 milliwatts at the end of the line there so we're losing a hell of a lot of power there and uh, you know that's why if you go to the effort of actually building an antenna at least go to the effort of purchasing the correct coax as well because you know you can spend as much time uh, as you like actually getting your measurements right on your antenna but if you use this crappy cheap coax it just won't work so a couple of surprising uh, results there with that little test then I uh, for one I didn't expect the uh, RG316 this quite thin coax to perform as well as it did I was uh, surprised how well that actually did and uh, this uh, LMR equivalent low loss coax is not quite as uh, low loss 
as the uh, seller made out to me. So I'm definitely not going to be using uh, this coax to make some cables up here in the lab and uh, I have ordered uh, 5 meters of genuine LMR uh, coax, low loss co coax from the uh, United States. Yes it is really expensive but I want to make uh, some new cables up to use here in the lab. And the semi rigid coax that I've been using now for probably uh, the good uh, probably 18 months possibly even two years uh, that performed uh, better than I actually thought it would I'm uh, really impressed with this uh, semi rigid coax that's the uh, RG402 semi rigid coax if you want to search for it on eBay uh, that's uh, really really good stuff and the uh, test showed that uh, the loss you actually get through this is quite minimal and remember as well that in this test I was using uh, pigtails that are two meters long and that's a lot longer than you should actually use for a pigtail. If you're going to make some for yourself to actually connect antennas to your Wi-Fi cards I wouldn't recommend making one longer than half a meter. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that video and uh, it's answered a few questions for you when it actually comes to coax and uh, I do get a lot of questions from people saying why can't I use uh, TV coax for the uh, TV aerial because it's so cheap and uh, hopefully this video has just shown why you uh, shouldn't actually use it especially if you've taken uh, you know some time to get your actual antenna right and looking nice and then go and ruin it by using some uh, cheap coax for the uh, TV aerial so if you did enjoy it please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions below and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one